Good evening, good evening. Something I just recently became aware of concerning the supplement industry. And it was kind of alarming to me when I first found out. I don't know why nothing, nothing should surprise you, nothing should surprise me. But first we're going to need a little bit of background information here. Okay, there are, let's say you wanted to start up your own supplement product line. You wanted to come out with, let's say, a pre-workout, okay? I've considered, this is how I found this shit out, because I was thinking about maybe, maybe it might be worth looking into, maybe I could come out with a pre-workout. And this is all just, you know, a fucking fart in the air right now. It's nothing, uh, you know, solid of any form at all. Just an idea. But if we're going to come up with a pre-workout, it would be because it would simplify my life. And so many people ask me, and people who like know me or even know of me, you know, out in the real world, not in there, but out in the real world, it's well known that I get like crazy, crazy pumps. Like I look like twice as big, well, I mean inches, when I get pumped. Then I just fill up with glycogen like a mug. I'll get like LRG, maybe some L-citrulline, maybe some beetroot powder, uh, maybe some cayenne pepper, maybe some, um, yeah, I don't know what all else I'll put in. Of course, I'm going to put carbolin in there. And it's the amounts that I use. What citrulline does when you take 10 or 12 grams of it is a whole different thing than what it does when you take, you know, 5 grams of it or 6 grams of it. But can you hold that? Are you big enough? It's all, you know, dose de is dependent upon weight of whatever the organism is. Right? Because if you give... A smaller size person, the same dose that you give a larger person, in the larger person, it's a lower dose. It's diluted in the bloodstream. Per deciliter, it's less. You know what I'm saying? So, if I could have all of this stuff already mixed and just tear the lid off and have everything I want at the doses pretty close to that I want, if it was half, then I could use two scoops, that would be fine, and that way other people that didn't need as much because they just weren't as big or couldn't hold as much glycogen yet, you know, they could take one scoop. You know, if one scoop turned out to be too much, you could take a half a scoop. So I would probably come out with something along that line if I were so inclined. But it would mainly, you know, it might sound selfish, but it's, it's my money. And it would mainly be because it would make life easier for me just to reach into the cabinet, pull it open, tear the top off, and there it is. I don't have to mix up all these, and I don't have to have all these separate things on hand, ingredients. The only thing that I add to it separate from that is carbolin, which I can't get around that. I couldn't include that because I wouldn't be able to, to include enough of it. And it's patented. It's patented. So, um, and I have seen it appear in other supplements through a licensing agreement and all that. But mainly they do that kind of thing so they can just say it's in there because there's not enough of it in there to really do what you need it to do. Yeah. So I buy whole carbolin, you know, from the source, EFX, Dr. Jeff Galini's product, and I put in what I want. So that would be separate. That wouldn't be in the pre-workout. You know, that's your driver. You know, your insulin potentiator, your, your insulin spike inducer. You know, that would be, and, and the material that you're going to use to uh, supersaturate glycogen stores while you're in the middle of your workout, ringing out and filling back up by having a pre-workout. So... Uh, that wouldn't be in it. You would add what you wanted in that regard because it'd be getting too impossible to to make it even cost effective. Um, and then the only other thing that I add is if I need a bump, a boost of energy, then I will take a stem pre-workout that has a few of those same things I've already taken. So it's just a little bit extra, but none of them really have enough in there to mean shit. Some of them may have five or six grams of L-citrulline, so that's a significant something, but then the rest of it's, you know, nothing that really matters to me, inconsequential pretty much, but it'll have some caffeine, you know, and then the problem with that is if it's got, you know, a, a buttload of caffeine in it, it doesn't, if I only want half of that, then I'm not going to get any significant amount of the other ingredients, so that's why I make my own, put what I want in it, and I've always done it. So it would be much simpler if I could just pull the cap off something, have it already done, mixed up, boom, 
throw it in there. And then I would add, I, mine would come with, I would put uh, caffeine in it, but not a mad amount. Not a mad amount. I would put a moderate, low to moderate amount of caffeine in it. Need more caffeine? Well, now you can take two scoops and get more of all the shit that's actually going to vasodilate, that's actually going to pump you, you know. And, and you'd still be all right with the caffeine. You wouldn't be overdoing it. So that's how I would do it. So I'm, I'm just looking into it. So I asked some questions, made some inquiries, and I have here's some of the things I have found. I have found that, like, say, these influencers, these, they want to start up their own uh, supplement, right? There's what's called white label supplements and private label supplements. And they're like this third party, this company that already gets raw ingredients and uh, they will put them in a container, seal it all up and every other thing, and you can buy that container off of them and they will even print your label. You know, you work with them to design your label and they will put your label on their shit. And then uh, you don't even have to, you know, there are even some that you don't even have to have any on hand. You don't have to have any hard product on hand because they take care of it. They take care of all of it. They take care of all of it. And then they send you your cut of the money for moving the shit. So there's that. And, and like some of that makes sense because L-arginine, if the quality of it's there, if it meets label claim, if it is what it is, L-arginine is L-arginine. You know, stuff like that. L-citrulline is L-citrulline. You know, these singular ingredients. They are what they are. Whether they have your name on it, anybody else's name on it, you didn't reinvent the wheel. It's not anything special about it. Probably, it's just the same thing. So, I wouldn't even, I'm not even interested in the same thing. You know, mine would be my own custom blend of shit that I'd want in there. But those products are still all bulk products. There's, there's ingredients, each one independently like with any supplement, okay? But here's where it gets shady. I have had uh, contact with companies now that, you know, have reached out because, you know, or, or sent me information, you know, without me petitioning them because they Somehow or another, they get wind that I'm interested or thinking about, or I'm investigating this, or I'm Googling these things or searching for them. And then they start sending you this shit. So there are companies out there now that they rebrand. And what I mean by rebrand, they rebrand other brands to be your brand. They have some kind of an agreement or whatever, and they have, some of them are, are first-line supplements. You go in GNC and you already see on the shelf, right? Products you go in vitamin shop, you already see them on the shelf. They take that product and you say, okay, I want that product to be my product now. They take that product and change nothing. It's in a blank container. They take that product and put your label on it and resell that. That's rebrand. That's what they call rebranding. They sell that as yours now, your name on it. And I've become aware now that this is a very popular way for a lot of fitness influencers through social media, YouTube, Instagram, all this other bullshit. Not everybody, but there are some out there that you're going and buying their pre-workout or their whatever the fuck. And it's really not theirs, so to say, it just has their name on it. It's already one that exists elsewhere under the brand that actually brought it to market. Can you fucking believe that? I mean, does that seem like a big deal to you? Does it seem like a non-event, like it's no, it's a nothing murder? To me, it seems, something seems shady about that. You know, that, and I'll, I'll tell you, a name brand. Because the information they sent me had all these supplements on the front of it that are pretty much, they're, they're well-known brands. And any of these brands could be yours, it says. And one of them, that just stands out to me that I saw was Dimatize. It was protein, it was one of their ISO proteins. So it was an isolate protein, Dimatize, right? And it was in their packaging, everything else, along with all these others that were other companies' products. And it said that like, if I wanted that, 
I could have that relabeled with my label on that, on a jug of that shit, and that would be called whatever, you know, James Tiny Vest isoprotein or whatever have you, right? But you would be buying it, but you're already, it's already exists. You're, you would actually be buying Dimatize, their isolate. You would already, you would be buying their product that's already out there on the market. And instead of buying their product that's already out there on the market, I'm saying, oh, look, I got some protein out now. And all it is is a tub of their shit. It's theirs that has my label on it. That's all. So it's the same deal with pre-workouts. They also have, I don't know how many different kinds. Of, it was a vasodilation blend and uh, greens, which are super popular. They're really pushing that hard now, greens. That instead of you actually having your own product, because what I'm, what I'm saying is I understand if I buy raw ingredients and I buy L-arginine and I buy L-citrulline and I buy beetroot powder and I sort through and I pick companies I trust that can present the lab work and show me, you know, verif verification to back up that this does meet label claim, this is what it says, this is as pure as it is, it's non-GMO, it's, you know, organic or not or whatever, or it's all whatever it is that they back it up and I believe it, I trust them. Okay, so I understand I buy this, this, and that, and this, and that ingredients, but then I put in how much of which ingredients I want to create my pre-workout, right? That's how I would do it, but everybody doesn't do it that way because that's work. What they do is they just slap their label that they have printed up on somebody else's shit that's already out there and you can already buy it it's, it's nothing's changed. It's not even opened. It's not even fucking opened. And then they sell it to you with their name on it. And that's what you're putting your dollars to. So then, then you wonder, what are they charging for this shit? You know, I didn't get that far in, 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 in gathering information because I really was kind of shocked at it. And I was like, what? If something seems wrong with that. So I didn't really make, I didn't really inquire further. Once I got to that point about that uh, method or that route, but I'm wondering if you could go in GNC or you could go elsewhere or Amazon or somewhere and pay, you know, forty dollars for a product. What is this social influencer selling it for now? It's the same fucking product, just with his labels on it. Is he selling it for forty-five? Is he selling it for you know more? Or I mean, I don't understand. So. But uh, the whole thing to me smacks of dishonesty. It seems to me kind of fraudulent. You know, but that's my personal opinion because obviously, legally, it's not. It's a standard thing now, and I'm not saying that everybody does it. I don't even know. I'm not saying the majority of people do it. But what I'm telling you is it's an affordable, viable option that's out there, and there are people doing it. And I can guarantee to you that there's somebody on YouTube, there's somebody on Instagram, somebody's out there, and most likely their whole line of products is somebody else's shit. Might all be from different lines, but it's all somebody else's shit that they just said, I'll take that, 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 and that, stick my labels on them all, and now I'm going to, hey, look what I came out with. And the thing is, the part that I think seems like, seems it should be dishonest, is that you're, you're putting your label on it, holding it out there, saying, this is my shit. And, and the people that support you are buying it because they fucking trust you. They trust you. They want to try out your product. They, they trust you enough to invest their money. That's the part that seems kind of questionable. Now, to tell me if I'm just blowing this out of proportion, but that's what seems questionable to me. It just seems strange to me that, that there's, there's somebody's formula that's already a gathering of ingredients that's what they wanted and the amounts that they wanted is already out there and it's, it's already a known brand and then you're an influencer. You want to come out with your own shit so you can just take a cop out by saying, oh yeah, I'm going to make that mine now. Peel that fucking, peel that pre-workout label off of there, slap mine on there and I'm going to tell you, hey, yeah. And then, you know, those that support me, 
would want to try it because it's mine. Well, fuck, it's already been available for a couple of years. When you, when you walk into GNC, you see it. It's just it's got the real name on it. That's what I don't think is. I think that's kind of fucked up. But again, I don't know why it surprises me, you know. Nothing surprises me. Why would it? Nothing surprises me anymore. You know, and there are really good companies out there. Look, that's why I use a lot of supplements. But I stick to certain companies. I deal with certain people. And there are good ones out there I don't know about. But if it ain't broke, don't break it. If I find something that works and I have a decent relationship with somebody or whatever, then that's who I'm going to stick with. You know? Anyway, that's it. I'm out. It's probably going to run longer than I thought it was going to run. I apologize for that. I'm always too verbose. You guys take care. Have an awesome, awesome evening. And let me know what you think.